So to set up wireless on our router, we can either use a setup disk, which came with the wireless router, um, or in this case, uh, on uh, Macintosh, we can go to our network preferences. We can uh, go take a look at, uh, go take a look at uh, the IP address of our router. In this case, it's 192.168.0.1. And so if we go to that address in our browser, 192.168.0.1. What that's going to do, it's going to take us to the router setup and it's asking us for a name and a password. And on this router, it's admin admin. So I'll enter that. And then that then takes me to the setup screen uh, for this wireless router. Um, what we typically want to do is go through a quick setup. We'll walk through the quick setup and it's asking me uh, how to configure the basic network parameters. Click next, click next. Uh, now it's asking how this is going to connect to the network. In the case of the Get Wireless Network, you want to use DHCP or obtain IP address automatically. Uh, so we're going to say dynamic IP, click next. And on the next screen, it's going to ask me on, on this wireless router, and they're all different. Um, so I'm just using this as an example. Um, do I want to clone my MAC address? In this case, we do not want to clone our MAC address. Um, the next step is setting up the wireless. Um, so we want to make sure that the wireless uh, radio is enabled. Um, we're going to give it uh, give our network a name, and we're going to call it Apartment Five Wireless. Apartment Five wireless. That'll be our network name. Uh, in this case, we can pick a channel uh, or we can set it to auto channel. And if it's auto channel, every time we would reboot it, uh, it will try and find the least noisy wireless channel. Okay. Uh, we can pick a mode. In this case, uh, I've set this up to be on uh, 802.11, B, G, and N, uh, channel with auto. Um, we have also set up we want a WPA uh, passcode, so we want to have some security on our wireless network. And I used We Are Penn State uh, in this example uh, as our security code, and that's what we'll type in. Um, so then I can hit next. It says, Congratulations, your device is connected to the internet. Reboot. So it's going to go through the process, uh, and our modem will now. Or, I'm sorry, our wireless router will now reboot. It'll take a few minutes to reboot. And once it's rebooted, uh, we can turn the Wi Fi on and, and disconnect our Ethernet cord. So, once our uh, wireless router has rebooted, uh, let's just make sure that we're up and we can surf uh, wired. We can. So, at that point, we can uh, disconnect the Ethernet from our computer. So, we're now not connected to anything. Uh, at this point, we have no internet, and so we'll turn on our, our wireless networking on our computer. Um, and on our wireless networking, I'm going to look for the network I set up called Wireless 5 or uh, Apartment 5 Wireless, and I set the passphrase as we are in capitals and lowercase are important, Penn State. And now I select Join. And in just a minute, once it shows that I've connected, so now it's showing uh, all four or five bars there that I'm connected. Uh, so I am wireless, and so I am now surfing fine and wirelessly connected to my wireless router.